Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Lucinda Joseph. Amno Vice President at the Sri Hishamuddin Tun Hussein says all 13 Amno State Liaison Representatives have given the thumbs up to the seven proposed amendments to the party's constitution. Hishamuddin, who is chairman of the Amno Constitutional Amendments Committee, says he hopes the delegates will accept the amendments unanimously and pave the way for Amno to be an example to other Barisa National component parties. Amno Youth Chief Kairi Jamaluddin has urged the Malays to get rid of their siege mentality and take on the mantle of true leadership, one of which includes all the races of Malaysia while not neglecting the plight of the Malays. In his maiden speech as Amno Youth Chief at the movement's annual General Assembly on Wednesday, Kairi asked the Malays to, leap, to make the leap to a political struggle based on civilization confidence and help the Prime Minister achieve his One Malaysia vision. Meanwhile, Wanita Amno Chief Dato Sri Sharizad Abdul Jalil wants members of the movement to think beyond merely becoming Wanita leaders. In her maiden speech to the movement, members following her election to the post in March last year, Sharizad called on Wanita members to rise above the glass ceiling because they were too capable of shouldering bigger responsibilities. Catch the full video on our website. Sacked People's Progressive Party PPP Youth Leader Senator Dato T. Murgia has filed a 10 million ringgit defamation suit against Party President Dato M. Kavias. The Deputy Minister in the Prime Minister's Department claimed that Kavias had uttered several false and malicious statements and remarks against him which were reported by the print and electric media between May 9th and May 11th. He filed the suit at the High Court Civil Registry at 2.30 p.m. on Wednesday. Some good news for travellers to India. Air Asia will start daily direct flights to Kolkata, Kochi and Thiruvannathapuram in India from Kuala Lumpur beginning November. The low-cost carrier says in a statement that it will be offering all-inclusive fares from as low as 129 ringgit one way for the booking period of October 15th to 20th. Air Asia launched its first Indian route to Tirchi in the South Indian state of Tamil Nadu on December 1st, 2008. For more updates, log on to the staronline.tv. I'm Lucinda Joseph. Thanks for watching.